and welcome again. I am doing this to compare the plant and the animal cell. Now, there are some features that you find in both of them. The nucleus in the two of them. And then you have the cytoplasm as well as the mitochondria. You also have the cell membrane. But on the plant cell, you've got the large vacuole, you've got chloroplast, and you've got the cell wall. These are not found in animal cells. If you find vacuole, they will be very, very, very small. But the vacuoles in plant cells are very large and filled with cell sap. Quickly, the nucleus holds the DNA. The cell membrane prevents or controls what goes in and out of the cell. The cytoplasm is a jelly-like material where all the chemical reactions happen. And then you have the mitochondria, which is where respiration happens, providing energy for the cell. The ribosome is very important because that is what plays a vital role in the stage of protein synthesis. It holds the mRNA in place for it to be translated into the right protein. Chloroplasts are very important in plant cells. Now, when you find a cell that has a lot of chloroplasts, it means it photosynthesizes because it contains chlorophyll, which, which actually traps sunlight for photosynthesis. And the one I haven't talked about is in detail is the vacuole. The vacuole and the cell will work together to give strength to the plant cell because the vacuole is filled with cell sap. And the, and the cell wall contains cellulose, a very strong material, which gives strength to the plant cell. That's why plant cells are very strong and upright. And then because animal cells do not have cell wall, they are very flexible. And that's why we can move ourselves. And that in very short, this very short video, I've explained to you plant and animal cell. It could be a six mark question. Whatever you do, keep revising and keep keeping positive. Thank you.